Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a Q&A frequently asked question about me video and also I'm going to announce my giveaway winners for my art. So stay tuned and let's just get right into it. So the first question is what is the meaning of your YouTube channel name? So my YouTube channel name is obviously Brittany Lynn and that's my name. My first name is Brittany. My middle name is Lynn. It's Vietnamese, which I'll get into later, my nationality. Um, it's the Vietnamese way of spelling it, L-I-E-N. It was my mom, my grandma's name. And yeah, that's basically it. I just wanted something to represent myself. I didn't want anything like cheesy or anything like that. I just wanted it simple, straight to the point and what I'm about and what better than my than my name. So the next question is when is my birthday? My birthday is February 15th and I'm 26 years old. What is your nationality and ethnicity? So as I said, I am half Vietnamese on my dad's side and then my mom, on my mom's side I'm white. So I'm Vietnamese and white, but on my mom's side I'm a mix of German, French, Irish, Swedish, uh, Cherokee, Indian. So yeah, that's basically my mix. I'm Vietnamese and white. My dad is Vietnamese and my mom is white. Where are you from and where were you born? So um, I was born in San Diego. I'm from California. Um, let me know if you're from San Diego or from California. And um, yeah, so do you have any siblings? I have an older brother and two younger sisters so I'm one of four I'm the second oldest do you have any kids so yesterday I actually <laughs> yesterday I actually filmed this video with one of my kids so yes I do have a daughter who's four and a son who's two and I actually filmed a 30 something minute video unedited but with my daughter and I'm just like I can't I cannot do this again so she was sitting there she was just looking sad because she wasn't answering any questions so I was trying to include her and she was just staring like like she was on something so I just you know I'm this, this is why I'm recording again so the next question I get very frequently especially on YouTube is um, do I whiten my teeth and if so what do I use so normally no I do not whiten my teeth I just brush my teeth regularly but when I do whiten my teeth um, I use the Crest white strips this is the kind right here the professional effects and um, like I said I don't do it all the time I kinda I'm, I'm kinda bad with um, being consistent about it so when I do use them I'm kind of inconsistent so I would go three or four days using them straight and then I stop and then just pick it pick it up again I think it you're supposed to do it what it says 20 treatments so I guess 20 days straight and then you're supposed to take like six months off or whatever and then you can do it again but I'm kind of bad about that so I kind of just do it for a few days and then stop and then do it again when I remember but those those I swear by because they work so well um, I drink coffee every day literally every day so I'm kind of surprised myself that my teeth are so white, but no, I um, don't normally whiten my teeth. But if you were looking for a teeth whitener, I would definitely recommend that. Those white strips work really, really well for me. They kind of make your teeth sensitive after you use them for the first few times because it is kind of strong, And but they definitely work. So the next question is, what do you use to film your videos? So I use my iPhone 6S Plus to film. I use the back facing camera because it's a better quality camera than the front facing. And then I use my um, MacBook for a monitor just so I can see myself, make sure I'm in, in view, make sure that I'm recording. Um, so if I'm looking to the side, that's where I'm looking. So I apologize about that, but I'm trying to get better at looking at the lens at you guys. So yeah, just um, bear with me with that. And what else do I use? I use, not, right now I'm using natural lighting. I'm in front of a window. And I also have the ring light um, on the lowest setting, on the lowest uh, brightness. Um, 
because I'm in natural light, I really don't need that much more lighting, but it is kind of a cloudy day, so that's why I'm using the ring light on a low setting. But normally, if it's a sunny day, I would just sit in front of the window and then just use the lighting. Um, but yeah, I don't really like filming at night with just my ring light because I don't like how the room is very dark and then I'm just like, bam, like super bright. If I had, I really wanna get those soft boxes, like two soft boxes for the sides and then my ring light, using my ring, ring light also. So yeah, ideally that's what I wanna use. But right now it's just a ring light, natural light, and then my iPhone and my MacBook. And then I use iMovie to um, edit my videos. The next question is, why don't you do more makeup videos and makeup tutorials? So <laughs> normally on a normal day, this is basically the makeup that I wear. I don't do anything too crazy. Um, my crazy is like adding a red lip or a dark, a bold lip. I don't do anything crazy with my eyeshadow and stuff. So if I were to do more makeup tutorials, I would just take your guys' requests and like what you guys wanna see. Cause on a normal day, I really don't do anything crazy on my eyes. So if you do wanna see anything um, out of the ordinary or if you wanna see something in particular, just let me know and then I'd be happy to do it. Um, I just wanna know what you guys wanna see. And I mainly do hair tutorials, uh, like for my curly hair video. So that leads me into my next question. What made me start YouTube or what made me upload my first video onto YouTube? So the curly hair video, if you haven't seen before on my channel, I'll put it in the description box. But that's the main reason why I wanted to upload something on my YouTube was that tutorial first because people were asking me so so many times like oh how did you curl your hair like that how did you get your hair because this is my natural hair like super super straight and so i was like okay i'll just put it in a tutorial and a lot a lot of people said that they would uh were interested in seeing the tutorial so that was the main reason why i started a channel was to show you guys how i did that to my hair and then after actually thinking about doing it and then i actually did it that wasn't my first video I uploaded. I just did a natural glowy makeup routine. I kind of wanted to just do that one first just to get the feel of recording, um, editing, and just see how I liked it at first because I know that was going to be a simpler video to, to edit and also to film and also to do in general. So that was kind of a test video and then after that, um, I wanted to upload my curly hair video. So yeah, that's the main reason why I started YouTube was mainly for that curly hair tutorial. So someone asked me, have you always been artistic since you like to draw and paint? So I, I have always been artistic. I've always liked arts and crafts. Um, growing up, my mom was very artistic and she would always do um, little arts and crafts here and there. She would always be ordering like paint by numbers and the complex ones, you know. She would al always be doing Donna Dewberry. If you don't know who she is, she is an artist also. <laughs> she would order books and stuff. And so yeah, like I always wanted to do art with her and crafts with her. So I, as far as I can remember, I've always really enjoyed doing arts and crafts. My drawings, I didn't really start drawing until maybe college. Um, I took a art class in high school, but it was kind of like a beginner's art, so I didn't really learn much in there. I also took a painting class in high school, a ceramics class. I think that's it, but I didn't really start painting and drawing until out of high school, like college time and then painting. I actually started maybe a couple years ago really getting into painting but as far as I can remember yes I've always been artistic so the next question is when am I gonna film myself doing a drawing so in order to do that I have to let my phone run for a very long time because it's gonna be a time-lapse and I don't have enough space on my phone and <laughs> so I'm waiting to get a better camera for one to just let the camera sit on my art like while I'm drawing just so I can just film the whole entire thing 
Um, I really want to do a time lapse of a drawing or a painting because I think that'd be really cool. I love seeing those videos on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube, just the uh, time lapses of the drawings. So yes, I will be doing that, but once I get a better camera that can film for a very long period of time because those drawings take a very long time. Another question I get asked a lot is how long did it take to curl my hair in the curly hair video with the straw curls? Um, it took me about an hour and a half, an hour to an hour and a half to uh, curl my hair. But in that video, my hair was really long. Right now, it's like to here. In that video, it was almost down to my butt, so that's probably why it took so long. If it's your first time, it will take you a little longer because you have to get the hang of it wrapping around the straw and just doing the whole process in general. So yeah, for me, it took about an hour. The next question is, what are some of your favorite stores? So my favorite clothing store is probably um, Forever 21 because I can always find what I like there, at least something that I like there because it's so big and there's so many different sections of styles. That orange and purple windbreaker that a lot of people ask me where I got it from, that was from, from Forever 21. I got it almost a year and a half ago, um, so they probably don't have it anymore. But that's probably one of my favorite clothing stores. And I also shop at Target, not for clothes really, but that's everyone's favorite store. But yeah, I love Target, I love Michaels. There's no Michaels here in Hawaii, very sadly. And there's no Hobby Lobby here either. And I'm heartbroken because my sister always goes to Hobby Lobby and Michaels and I can't go. And I used to like Wet Seal, but they went out of business. And um, what else? Fashion Nova is another store that I really like. It's an online store and if you don't know what they are, you need to go check out their website. I really wanna shop from Pretty Little Things. I haven't ordered anything from them, um, but let me know if you like their clothes. I've seen really cute clothes from Pretty Little Things. Pretty Little Thing? Things? But yeah, I wanna order some clothes from them as well. Another store that I really like, but it's not doesn't have anything to do with clothes is Starbucks so if you know me you know I love coffee and I have to have it in the morning to function and I have to have it every day but I don't have to have Starbucks every day I just have to have a cup of coffee every day so in the morning that's my routine like every single morning I get a I brew myself a cup of hot coffee with some creamer um, and then Every once in a while, I'll go to Starbucks. My drink of choice is a triple shot over ice with extra ice and soy milk. That's my all-time favorite drink. It took me a while to get to that point of the strength of the coffee because I started out putting white mocha in it and that kind of stuff. Um, but now I just drink it without any sweetener. The soy milk that they use has some vanilla in it, so that's enough sweetener for me. But sometimes people make it with just a little bit of soy and it's just like, like super super strong so um but yeah let me know if you love starbucks and let me know your drink of choice down in the comments and let me know if you guys like super sweet coffee drinks or don't like coffee let me know if anyone out there is a starbucks addict like me so my next question is what is your profession or job so as of right now i'm a stay-at-home mom and i do youtube and i also do art on the side um, I sell my art and yeah, so I really don't have a job that I go to every day But as far as money and working is mainly YouTube art being a stay-at-home mom. Who's your favorite youtuber? Um, I don't have a favorite youtuber in general just like one but I have a few that I always watch so the first one is Manny MUA I love him um, Raven Elise. I love her Jasmine Gonzalez She's really chill. She seems really cool, down to earth. Alyssa Ashley is just gorgeous. I watch her all the time. She's like, her makeup skills are just amazing. Alyssa Forever is gorgeous. Nikki Tutorials is amazing. Alva Velasco is so sweet. Oh, and the main person that I actually started watching YouTube or makeup tutorials ever, my first first person was Lissandra Deluxe and ever since her I 
searched everybody. I found so many different ones, um, but she was the main person, the first, first, first makeup guru that I actually started watching. But yeah, those are the main ones I watch. I don't have one favorite because all these people are amazing. So the last question is, do I have any advice for new YouTubers or those that are hesitant to start a YouTube channel or upload their first video? I literally can only say just upload your video. You're never gonna learn. You're never going to know what's right and wrong unless you do your first video and just learn from the constructive criticism, what you like, what you don't like what type of videos you like to do, which ones you don't like to do, and uploading videos brings you opportunity, like sponsorships and that kind of thing. So if you're afraid to do it, just, just get over your fear and just upload your first video. That's really only the number one thing I can tell you. You don't need expensive equipment, like everyone says, you can use your phone like I'm doing. Even if the quality isn't the best, it'll get better with time and you're, your confidence in front of the camera is gonna get better with time. But as soon as you upload that first video, that kind of opens up the door to being able to do more and seeing what you like to do. But I know even now I get I get nervous in front of the camera and that kind of thing. So, so really I'm growing with you if you start. Let me know if you upload your first video. And it's really a journey. Like I'm still in the beginning of my journey and I'm really enjoying it and I'm still getting used to everything and getting used to the type of videos I like to put out. I'm still getting used to editing. I'm still getting used to which music I can use. Still how to feel super relaxed in front of the camera. All I can really tell you is to just do it. You can do it. Anyone can upload a video, so just do it. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? But yeah, that's really the best advice I can give you is just to do it, you know? And... <laughs> I'm scratching myself, that's why. I'm all red now. So now for the moment you guys probably were waiting for, the winners of my art giveaway are these three ladies right here. So if you see your name on the screen, you can message me or I'm going to message you on um, Instagram. And congratulations to you guys. Um, thanks for entering my giveaway. You just had to follow me on Instagram and uh, subscribe to me here, but thank you. And I hope you stay subscribed, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I don't know, hoped you learned a little bit more about me. And if there's any questions that I didn't answer, just feel free to ask me in the comments below or message me, DM me, whatever. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I love you guys. Thank you.